so let's talk about trade trade management. There are various ways to manage your trade once you've um, entered a, um, a position. And the most common and, and most talked about technique is to set your stop loss and take profit or your target. And once price hits the target, you're out in profit or if price hits the stop loss, you're out with a loss. Um, now we're not going to talk about whether stop loss level is the right level, how much are you risking? Let's just focus on trade management. Now I'll tell you what I typically do for most of my trades and most of my techniques. Um, I like to set an initial stop loss on the trade when, once I get in and then I like to take partial profits so I don't wait for price to hit a target before I take profit I like to take profit along the way and I typically take two levels of profit sometimes just one before the final um, most times I take two levels and what do I mean by that I like to take my first profit around 25 pips when I'm 25 pips in profit I close half of the trade and then if I continue to be in profit and I hit 50 pips in profit, I like to take a second level of profit and then I let the, the last one run until I get I decide to close the trade or um, I'm taken out force, forcefully from the trade. And then what else do I do? So what I've just talked about here now is firstly, I set my initial stop loss, then I take an initial profit at 25 pips in profit um, I close half of the trade and then I close a further 25% when I'm 50 pips in profit and then the last one just keeps going with what I call and you would have heard a trailing stop loss and I then get taken out once the trailing stop loss is, is hit and I'll just give you an example here easier to explain on the on the chart you can see this trade is an ERX gen breakout trade on the Euro JPY. This trade was entered on Friday, the 23rd of March. So my entry was at this level here, and the initial stop loss was placed at this level here. So initial stop loss was there, and my entry was there. And so we can see that price then moved from here, boom, that candle, then that candle hit 25 pips. So if you check, yes, this is about 25 pips. So the first half of the trade, 50% of the trade was closed at 25 pips in profit. So in this case, this would have been a 0.2 lot trade so 0 0.1 was closed at that level and then that trade actually then just ranged price just ranged about it didn't continue to go up it, it came back down almost got to my stop loss you can see but didn't and so on Monday price started to push up then at 8 a.m. GMT Monday we hit 50 pips in profit and the further 25% was closed so it's 0 0.05 about that was closed so let's see whether that's 50 pips so we can see yeah that's there about 50 pips yeah and at that same time when price hits 50 pips my stop loss then moves from here and moves to 25 pips so which means then that the entry is here the stop loss is above it on a buy trade and that means that this becomes a 100% risk free trade so the final 25% lot left which is this 0 0.05 from that moment became a 100% risk free trade so no matter what happens, 
this will be a profit because if price comes back down and hits the stop loss I still have 25 pips in profit but then as well what then starts to happen is the stop loss starts to move as I as I make a, a a load stop loss moves to it and then it would have moved to this point as well and then it would have moved here and it would have stayed here for a while until where it is now so in reality now this trade has locked in about 170 pips in profit so no matter what happens now this trade will close in minimum 170 pips and if the euro against the JPY continues to be bullish that price that stop loss will just keep moving once I get a close above this level now the stop loss will move to this to this level so we just keep closing and closing in until price takes us out of that trade okay and so that's how I manage most of my trades this example here is with the ER exchange breakout system so first thing is set an initial stop loss at a place where I know price will be unlikely to hit just like this level here this price came back down but did not actually touch the stop loss sometimes it does that's the way it is but in this case that was unlikely for price to hit this level because that level is a level of support and then I take 50% of the trade off the table in profit when I'm 25 pips in profit I take a further 25% off the table when I'm 50 pips in profit and at the same time my stop loss then moves from where the original position and closes in about 25 pips and from that point on I just keep trailing the stop loss until I get taken out of the trade okay I hope this has been useful to just explain trade management and you use this in combination with other risk management techniques okay if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me at admin at fivetalentstrader.com and don't forget click the like button if this was um, good for you and and if you haven't hit the subscribe button so that you get notification when I release new videos Okay, until next time, have a great trading day. See you soon. Cheers.